Hello, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Have you ever wondered what it is that can make you fall so head over heels for someone? Perhaps you thought you were more of a reasonable person when it came to love, but now with your new partner, do you find yourself making impulsive decisions and acting a bit differently? Well, not everyone loves the same. Odds are with this partner, you're experiencing a different type of love. A different type of love? Well, of course. According to American psychologist, Robert Sternberg, there are seven important types of love. His triangular theory of love includes three important components, passion, emotional intimacy, and commitment. According to Sternberg, intimacy is made up of feelings of closeness, connectedness, and boundedness in loving relationships. Passion refers to the drive that leads to romance, physical attraction, and related phenomena in loving relationships. Commitment, in a short-term commitment, is the decision that one loves a certain other, and in a long-term, it refers to one's commitment to maintaining that love. These seven types of love all revolve around how much emotional intimacy, passion, and commitment your relationship has. Sternberg's triangular diagram has seven types of love in different areas of the triangle. You can combine these types of love you possess on the triangle and connect them to their location on the diagram. The bigger your triangle is, the more love you have for each other to last forever. While there are seven of Sternberg's love types, only one of them can last a lifetime. This love has the biggest triangle in the diagram. So, in what way do you love your partner? Here are the seven types of love to help you find out. Number one, infatuation. Ah, a new romance, sweet. But why do you have such strong feelings for this person that you don't know that much about? With infatuation, couples may not know exactly why they stay together. They may not have similar interests or necessarily be compatible, but that doesn't matter. The more you get to know each other and grow in your relationship, the more likely your love will develop into something deeper. Speaking of infatuation, are you someone who chooses to find love online before meeting a potential lover in real life? Do you tend to put information about yourself on social media, Facebook, Instagram profiles, and dating apps in order to impress others? Sometimes in the pursuit of people's attention, you might unintentionally expose yourself to those who do not deserve it and may do harm. Yes, you should always be open to new things, but does it include unwanted attention? Many of us probably don't realize how much private information we're putting onto the internet. By sharing too much on social media, you're actually putting yourself at risk as everything you do or say on the internet can be used against you in unpredictable ways. Kaspersky's privacy checker can help a lot in this regard. Whether you're setting up Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, or YouTube, set your desired privacy level, and the online tool can inform you on exactly how to keep everything secure. The instructions are clear, always up to date, and absolutely free. Check the link in the description to learn more from Kaspersky about how you can keep your private information private. Number two, liking or friendship love. Are you both immensely at ease with each other or you feel like you can be yourself around them? With this type, you both understand each other and are free to be who you are at heart. You're comfortable together and have a strong friendship growing with your love. But passion and commitment, along with your emotional intimacy, can lead to be much more than a loving friendship. Number three, empty love. When someone experiences empty love, they're simply focused on commitment, while passion and emotional intimacy take the back seat. This type of relationship usually happens when a passionate and intense relationship with your previous partner has ended. You're looking for a more committed relationship and may not put passion and intimacy at the top of your list when it comes to finding a new partner. Regardless, this love can grow and develop more passion and emotional intimacy with time and willingness to open up to each other. Number four, romantic love. Ooh, romance is in the air. When you have a romantic type of love, at first, you may not hold as much commitment as this love is mostly filled with passion and desire for one another. This type of love is very intimate and could even be an affair. But if you combine this type of love with others, it could lead to something more than just passion. Five, companionate love. Are they your emotional double? Do you share the exact same emotional frequency? Companionate love is one filled with emotional intimacy at its core. 
This love is not passionate and can be platonic. It's built off of strong trust and relationship, but is more than just friendship. Because of this commitment and devotion present in this love, passion is no longer relied upon or needed in the first place. Companionate love is seen through close friendships, family, or long-term marriages where passion is no longer present. Number six, fatuous love. Ah, it's love at first sight. Fatuous love has no intimacy, but is filled with passion and parts of commitment. A courtship or arranged marriage often contains fatuous love. But if the two don't allow themselves to know each other on a more personal level, their love can simply stay in this type instead of growing into something more intimate. And number seven, consummate love. Here you are, you've made it. The ultimate form of love that is said to last a lifetime. This love is what every couple strives for, according to Sternberg. Couples who experience this type of love can't imagine themselves with anyone else. They're happiest long-term with their partner and can continue to have great sex for 15 or more years in their relationship. Any difficulties they do have, they overcome, and they ultimately love spending their time in the comfort of each other's presence. But Sternberg warns, without expression, even the greatest of loves can die. Being open and honest about your feelings to one another is essential to maintain consummate love. If you don't, your love may not be lost, but instead will slip into one of the previous types listed before, such as companionate love. Consummate love is the type everyone strives for and is something to hold on to. This love combines all of the types of love present in Sternberg's triangular love theory. So that unattainable love you fantasize about in your classic romance movies, it may not be so unattainable after all. With some passion, commitment, and a willingness to open up about your feelings and who you are, your relationship may be able to grow into the kind you see in romance novels. Did you know about all these different kinds? Will you be making use of the triangle now? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those lost in the mazes of love. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.